Welcome back to another Divi Space tutorial. My name is JB. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a WooCommerce product grid or list view using a toggle switch. All we're going to need is WordPress, Divi, and the Divi Shop Builder plugin. So let's dive right in. All right, guys, so I've gone ahead and created a page for my WooCommerce products to live on. Uh, we're going to start off by inserting a single row onto our web page here. And then we're going to scroll down and add the WooShop Plus module to our website. Uh, this is only available if you have the Divi Shop Builder plugin installed on your website. If you do not, you can obtain it down in the link in the video description. And we will see that our products are being displayed in a grid view uh, by default. If we go to our WooShop Plus settings here, uh, we scroll down and there is a section entitled layout. We can change it from grid list and to the grid list view switch, which is what we're going to do right now. And what this will do is it will present us with a toggle switch between grid view and list view. We can also customize the look and feel of this as well. So let's go into our design tab and scroll down to the grid list view button. And I can change the icon to my grid view. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And then I can also do the same thing with the list view icon, but we're going to keep that the same for right now. I'm going to change the icon color to uh, purple. My hover color is going to be red. And then my active color is going to be blue. And we do have other settings as well in regards to uh, the background color of our icon, as well as the border. The sky is the limit with this is very, very customizable as well. So we're just going to do that and save it. And then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in the front end. So this is what the front end looks like with our save changes. And you can see that my button is blue when active. It's purple when not active. And then when I hover, it turns red. Um, I can switch between both the grid and the list view. And when I go to the next page, it would actually hold that last viewing option state that I have chosen, which in this case would be the list view. Let's go ahead and do that with the grid view here. And again, same thing. And that is how you create a WooCommerce toggle switch between a product and list view. I hope this video tutorial is really useful for you guys. I'm really excited to show you more about the Divi Shop Builder plugin. So make sure to stay tuned by hitting a like down below, subscribing to the channel, and also clicking on that notification bell button so you don't miss a video when it goes live. Hope to see you guys in the next one. And as always, keep learning.